Welcome to the Shipandani bird hide in the Kruger National Park, close to Mupani Rest Camp, where we'll be sleeping tonight. During the day, this acts as a bird hide, where people can watch birds and animals from the bird hide here. We must be quiet because it's we have to be quiet in a bird hide. But uh, during the night, during the evenings, you can sleep here. There's a bright aura here, we'll show you just now. And there's beds that fall down from the, from the back here. And that's because that's going to be our place tonight. Let me show you. Join us on our fabulous night in the Shipandani Hide, where we will show you just how special this place is and also give you some tips when planning your stay at the Hide. Staying at a hide just makes you feel so much closer to nature and as only one booking per night is available, you are guaranteed to be alone with all the sounds of the bush for yourself. Shipandani Hide is situated on the banks of the Tsenze River just below the Pioneer Dam very close to Mupani Rest Camp and is less than 2 hours drive from the Palabowa Gate. Check in for the hide is at Mupani Rest Camp after 2 pm. Note that you can only unpack your bags at the hide half an hour before the gate closes. Yes, I'm here to check in for Shipandani. When checking in at reception, remember to bring 300 Rand cash for a security deposit that you will get back when you return the keys when checking out. You can only book the hide by either calling Sand Parks or the Mupani Rest Camp for a maximum of 6 people. As we still had a few hours until we were allowed to comfortably unpack at the hide, we decided to spend some time at the lovely restaurant in Mupani Rest Camp. The restaurant arguably has one of the best views in Kruger, which overlooks the Pioneer Dam. The deck was the perfect place from where we had something to drink while enjoying the warm afternoon winter sun with the inquisitive local squirrel. Life around the dam is abundant and while sitting at the restaurant we were able to spot many different animals including this herd of elephant that came to have a drink. Heading back to the hide, we loved stopping on the low water bridge and watching the golden light on the water while listening to the hippos. A family of black rakes were also quite inquisitive and not afraid of the car. The braai area is very neat and equipped with tables and chairs and forms part of the general enclosure around the hide. There is no electric fencing around the hide which just adds to the experience of really being immersed in nature. The wooden walls however do provide enough protection from the animals. The toilet area next to the parking is very basic with only a long drop and no running water. Yeah, so get a lot of cutlery and uh, kettle and some doom. So uh, we will sort it for tonight. We were quite surprised when Frank from Sandbox showed up at the hide bring us some bedding, a full set of cutlery and a 20 litre can of water as we were not sure if any of this was included for the night. And how bad are the mosquitoes? Sorry? Are the mosquitoes bad? The mosquitoes are they bad? Okay, let's just say. Oh, just for to be safe? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Oh, thank you, friend. Yeah. So if you, tomorrow morning, if you go in, yes. you can take all the stuff, you put that side, Okay. We lock. We lock. Okay. Yes. Everything will come to you. Come so deep to me. Okay, now that's yes. thank you very much. Bro. Thank you. Alright. So pretty heavy. So yeah. We'll our mattresses here. Mattresses.
introduce the beds when they are completed. And uh, there's all the bedding is provided. The mattresses go in here. Uh, Frank kindly came and delivered us our delivered our bedding. After unpacking and making our beds for the night, it was time to relax. This is my favorite part of the day in Kruger. Sitting around the campfire, watching the colors in the sky change as the last light of the day disappears and listening to the sounds Kruger has to offer. Listening to the night sounds in Kruger just creates a calmness that I don't experience anywhere else in the world. Being South African, no chance to have a braai goes unused for us. And here at Chipandane, it was no different. So tonight I'm making a famous dish thanks to my colleague. It's a beef fillet, but I do it a bit special. So in this pot, it's just a normal iron pot, I've melted some butter and some garlic, <laughs> some olive oil and some pepper. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put in some mushrooms in here and then let the mushrooms cook a little bit in the butter and after, that, after they've, they've cooked a little bit I'm going to put in my fillet in this pot here let it boil in that nice butter and garlic and then I'll just uh, brown it here on the, on the coals just to, until it's perfectly cooked See if they're cooked. Oh, the color looks lovely. Oh, and just you can just pour them over the fillet there, and also some of the sauce over the the meat. After an amazing dinner, it was time to go to bed. But as this is a hide, we had to use the opportunity to see if we could spot any unusual nocturnal life from the hide. We made sure to bring a good spotlight to scan the riverbanks and surrounding trees for any animals and were quite lucky to see a side-striped jackal, which is not too common in Kruger. But we were not too successful in taking a picture of it. The next morning we woke up to the typical morning chorus of Kruger. As you have to be packed and ready to leave 30 minutes after the camp gates open, it was quite an early rise and hustle to get everything packed in time. We had an amazing time at Chipandani and were quite sad to leave but it seems like the morning had one last treat for us. So we've just 